Hey guys, what's up? It's Kitchen93 here, and I'm here today to review the iCarpus Stand by Visual Factor. Now, this little device here is a portable stand, uh, as I said, made by Visual Factor. That's supposed to be one of the most portable stands um, available on the market as an accessory. So, to show you how this works real quick, all you have to do is take your thumb and push down this middle part so that the little clamp opens up, stick it around your device like that, and then you just set it in either portrait like that or landscape like that. And depending on which viewing uh, orientation you're using, you can do different things. Like in landscape, for example, you can watch movies, uh, possibly play games, and in portrait mode, you can possibly view picture slideshows or use it just as a stand for pictures, like a photo frame kind of thing. Uh, the materials that it's made of, it's made of a plastic-like material, and this gray edging that you see around here is a non-slip edge so that it grasps onto your device nicely so that it doesn't fall out while you're using the stand. The colors, this comes in either white, which is as you see here, the black, more commonly known as the graphite color, green and pink, which are kind of odd colors, but that's what they come in. Now the pros to this stand are that it's compatible with many different devices. Uh, earlier I just showed you how it works on my first generation iPod Touch with just a thin skin on it. And something that this case is advertised is that it can uh, be used on many different types of devices like iPods, iPhones, or Android smartphones. Um, and so just to prove that, uh, that's my first generation iPod Touch here. Here I have my sister's second generation iPod Touch with a uh, protective hard plastic case on it. And just to show you that this stand can still accommodate for something that is a little bit larger like that. Again, you can still view it in portrait or landscape. And another device is my brother's Droid Incredible here. And there's no case on this and it's, the stand still works fine. Again, in portrait or in landscape mode. So, that's just the short demo of how this works. I'm pretty sure you guys have a pretty good idea of what this is like. Very small, like I said, it's very portable. It's really thin, as you can see here. It's supposed to be able to fit in your pocket, which I'm pretty sure it does for uh, most guys, at least. I'm not sure this sits in a girl pocket, but, you know, it's pretty thin. Um, it looks really nice. It's really elegant and very sleek looking, at least in my opinion anyway, but you can judge for yourself on that. The build quality of this is mediocre. It's alright, but it's not fantastic uh, for a small device like this. There's still a little bit that could be improved on, I think, but it's not really that much to complain about. It still works as a functioning stand. Uh, it's very easy to use. Like I said earlier, the site um, advertises that you can use this with three fingers, so if you use your um, index and middle finger to put it on this part and your thumb on the bottom you can open it up like that. Um, some more pros is that like I said it can is compatible with many different devices with or without protective casings on it so as you saw that it's very compatible with many different devices as long as it does it's not as fat it's not fatter than what this opening is. Again uh, you can place it horizontally or vertically for portrait landscape viewing you there are non-slip edges so that you know your device doesn't fall out of it. it has a very nice design and it can be used as a headphone caddy like thing where you can wrap your headphones around in some certain way um, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't really know how to do it but that's that. Um, some of the cons are that even though I said it has some uh, decent build quality it still feels a little bit cheap especially because it's just being a plastic and it's held together by this small spring here not sure if you can see that, but there's a spring there that obviously keeps and holds the clamp stand like that. So it feels a little bit cheap. It feels like if you stretch it like or fiddle around with it too much, that might break. But obviously it hasn't for however much I've been using it. Um, there's not really much else besides that. Overall, this is a pretty good stand. Uh, the one big thing that I do have to complain about, though, is that its cost is a little bit high for something of this quality. Now, the iCarpus stand uh, retails for $12.99 plus shipping, depending on where you live. And so $13 for this stand, uh, I wouldn't be 
really that satisfied with $13. I think I could find a better stand for about the same price, but again, I guess that's the price you pay for you know portability and looks. Uh, so that's basically the, the review on the iCarpus stand. I want to thank Visual Factor for sending this product out to me uh, for review purposes. And again, I uh, just want to say that this is a pretty good stand. There's not much to it. It's very simple very elegant, but again, the price is the one thing that I would have to complain about, if anything at all. So again, this is K293 here with another tech uh, review, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one in the future.